In today's Family First, the Crystal Grand Theater has announced its concerts for 2016. And this year, local animal shelters will see a portion of the proceeds starting with the Sauk County Humane Society. That's pretty cool. Uh, joining me now is Tom Lines, management for the uh, Crystal Grand Theater. Tom, thank you so much for coming in. Absolutely. Okay, we better get to it right now. About an hour and 15 minutes ago, if you are a Rick Springfield fan, those tickets just went on sale. Absolutely, and it's a very unusual show because it's not his traditional show. He's actually doing, it's more of kind of an acoustic, very, very intimate, so that's something you want to take advantage of. And that's going to be April 16th. That is correct. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to double check my... Thing. Oh, sure. Well, here is the uh, schedule that you just came out with recently. So you have Rick Springfield... Yep, Survivor on May 7th, and we were just, as of 9 o'clock last night, Survivor is going to be um, along with Dokken, which is a great oh. 80s hair band. Oh, baby. So that's cool. <laughs> uh, Charlie, do you remember Dokken? All right. <laughs> yep, Lennon Sisters then on June 11th, and this is big. They haven't been touring for a long time. If you, this is an older act, so if you're a Lawrence Welk fan, you'll know the Lennon Sisters well. And then uh, close to you, that is a Carpenters uh, group that comes in, which is just excellent. Aww. Maggie May Christmas, which if you're in Wisconsin, you probably know about Maggie May. And there are some concerts on the website that we cannot talk about in public, so you want to go to crystalgrand.com because there's a few on there that I can't talk about. Oh, you're just sending people to your website now. Uh, I, I'm telling you it's the truth. All right. <laughs> now tell me, what is different about the experience going to the Crystal Grand Theater sure. that maybe other theaters don't offer? Yep, well, I, I think the one thing that we hear most about the Crystal Grand is that it is a very intimate theater, mm -hmm. so it's not great big and you're seeing, you know, little teeny people down there, so it's very intimate. Uh, we also are doing a lot with meet and greets now. This is something we're really starting to, to develop, so for the fan that really wants to do something cool, we're, we're going to be doing a VIP experience that has the component of a meet and greet built into it also, so those types of things. I think that's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. About how much will tickets go for exactly for Rick Springfield tickets? Yeah. What do they start? I think they're around forty dollars and then the meet and greet goes to 150 and that includes a meal and some other things and that's what I think is so amazing is that these tickets are affordable when we see other ticket prices you know 150 200 dollars yeah. on your way back in some auditorium that you keep the prices sure. down to earth let's say you bet so a new management team coming in you're a part of that anything mm -hmm. going to be different this year uh, we are changing up the whole experience Mm -hmm. Every component of, at, we're looking at every component of the business and trying to determine how to make it a better experience for not only the concert goer, but also the artist too. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. For more information, just go to NBC15.com and click on News Links. We have a link to their website so you can see some of the concerts he can't talk about on air. And you can get more information and the phone number where to buy all the tickets. Tom Lines, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you. I can see it's going to be a very successful 2016. Be fun. Thank you.